I'm pointing at something. I'm pointing at diatomaceous earth. I put it around each leg of this thing here. And uh, I'm going to make up some more of these. Yeah. Hey, I wanted to ask you guys something. Uh, fixing to open a beehive and it's raining. Uh, have you guys ever worked bees in the rain? Huh? You haven't? Why not? If you're a beekeeper in a time crunch, okay, you got to work a beehive. Um, you get her done. You just get the job done. Now, there's going to take three components to do working bees in the rain. Now, I don't know if anybody showed you how to work bees in the rain before, but I'm fixing to show you. It takes three components. It takes a pitchfork. It takes some gorilla, gorilla tape, white or black. It's your choice. And you need a Harbor Freight cheap on sale umbrella. You ready for this? There it is. And that's how you work bees in the rain, okay? All right, I gotta get in, now let's cut the comedy. And we gotta get in here and uh, stay four. I wanna see if these cells are sealed up. If they are, they're going in the incubator. And now I'm gonna go back into my sweet baby girl and get another, get another bar out and slam in 15 more graphs. All right, let's get her done. Okay guys, look at here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen out of fourteen cells made it. So what does that tell you? Old Steve still knows how to get her done, okay? Let's get these things in the incubator. They're all capped as you can see. They're all capped. Day four, capped off. Very fragile, okay? We gotta be careful here. Okay guys, in the grafting room here. What temperatures in this thing? I got 75 degrees. 73 degrees off that, 74 off of that block right there. That wall's running 75. That's running 74, that unit there. That wall, that foam wall is 75 degrees. It's about perfect in here for grafting. Nothing's running, that's not running at all. And I've been making up these this morning, guys. I got some here. I got a little wild and crazy here. I'm trying something different. You got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 16, 18, 21 same same size these are the i found out i was shaving them down i don't need to shave these down if you take this if you take a regular lowe's uh five gallon paint stick and you don't need to trim it at all it's a perfect thickness uh these are a little time consuming to do but i mean it's a rainy day right it's raining out so this is the kind of stuff i do I don't, I know, I rigged that up. That's a cage system there. I'm going to experiment it, but I really like the looks of this operation here. We got uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. I got fifteen right there. Actually, I could cram one more in there. And that's on that mono, 20 pound mono. I got one leg here, one up here. Uh, about, I don't know, a little better than halfway of the, of the cage running through here so that that may not be you know a bad way to go either I think and I'm thinking I'm liking this I can get them in there easily myself I just put those in we got uh, what is it 13 14 cells I think whatever I said in that video anyway so yeah and I didn't I tried one with the uh, I showed you the copper wire thing I was gonna do it's better just get a little machine screw like this. This is a little Phillips machine screw. And I got a little brass washer there. And I got one there. And I snug it up good. And then I set it on my anvil and take a ball peen hammer and tap it so that nut never comes loose. You don't need to. And it's the perfect, it's the perfect action for pivoting. I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them, uh, what did I say here? Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16. Let's drop 16 in there and see how they do. The beauty of these, see, the beauty.
beauty of these, the way I rigged them, you know, of course, whatever scenario you got for an incubator, but my scenario is from here to here goes on those uh, on those uh, frame rests, let's say. From here to here is 19 inches, the standard frame size. So now if we want to put it in our incubator, all I did is went in there in the house, turned these like so, and these go right in. That particular one is on a frame. You don't need to. You can do this number. This is all you need to do to go in your incubator, right? Once you once the 10 day comes, 10th day comes, then then we will uh, go in. Now I've got uh, the wheel here. We did this. Uh, we grafted on the uh, 30th right here. Of course, it was 30. Uh, it got 31 here. You don't count that one. And see, you come over here, and it's capped. So we just pulled that on the fourth day, and it's capped. Beautifully done. Big cells. Nice big fat cells. We should have some excellent queens coming out of them thing. Alright, so, but but they're very fragile. You see, I, I tickled them off here with a feather. Let me tickle you a little bit. See if I can get you tickle. Tickle you happy there. Anyway, well, we'll do that to Miss Daisy. Okay, anyway. Uh, on the, on, in the nuke. See, it says in the nuke. And that's going to be the ninth. We need to get them things out of there and get them in our cage. On October 9, they're going in here, okay? We'll fill this puppy up. All right, guys. We got her going on here a little bit. Uh, still rain. It's going to be raining all week, so I'm going to have to be. I'm going to set this bar in there right now and let them do a 24-hour clean job on this thing okay tomorrow i'm going to go in and i'm going to graft so maybe i'll bring you along for that little movie all right guys see you later be happy bye bye okay we got ourselves in the incubator guys got them in the incubator they, they be cooking uh just just kicked in there it's uh it was 90 just when I opened that door, dropped a little bit. But anyway, it's uh, 93 kicks on, 94 kicks out. And she's been pretty accurate. I've ordered, I've ordered uh, another ceramic socket and light, and we're going to install another one on this wall here. Uh, I'll probably pull that bowl out of there and put a, a you know, like a teep tea saucer pan down there with a sponge on top of that because I won't have room with this big bowl in here when I put my other sock in. That'll give us more uh, you know security. We're rolling the dice here with this one bulb. It'd be very unlikely for both bulbs to blow out at one time. So all I'm going to do is add another socket right over here. Poke a hole. Maybe I can get the wire right through that same hole. Go back and plug into our plug-in bar back there. And then as one burns out, because one will handle this easily, what we'll, we'll do is cycle faster with two, so, two bulbs in here, 240 waters. So there it is. So what I did is put here, we grafted on 930, little record keeping up here. Uh, we had the other graft on 917. And that was a total failure because they ripped everything down. So this one here, we got them out early. And uh, 9.30, we grafted. Uh, we're going to go in the cage. We're going to put it in the cage here. I've got here in cage, which is those, on 10.9. And they're going to hatch on 10.11. All right? So that's a little quickie, uh, quickie deal on the incubator. We can get to four of those bars in there. And I got room in the back, too. I can put cells back there also. I'll just have to do another configure. But I can put, I can put actually four of those on there. Four 15 bars on that thing if I really want to get energetic, okay? I'll see, see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.